Okay, now that we have combined our uh, narrowband images into a color image using this crazy pixel math combination over here that I showed you, we are ready to take one extra step. And this is a really simple step, actually. It's a very, very, very simple step. But I thought it was worthy of its own step, should I say, because it's very important. And it really makes a huge difference in your image. So what you want to do is add a luminance layer to your existing narrowband image that you just created. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hot image and we're going to add that in as a luminance layer. That's right. So we combine the hot image in here somehow, and now we're going to take it. We're going to add it back in as luminance. So that's kind of fun, right? And this really makes a lot of difference in your image. So what I'm going to do is go to process color spaces, LRGB combination. And what I'm going to do is take my high image, put it into the luminance field. I'm going to check, uncheck my R, G, and B, <clears throat> R, G, and B uh, fields right here. I'm going to check off my chrominance uh, noise reduction over here. And we're ready to go. All you got to do now is apply it. Oh, let me just point that you might want to adjust these uh, lightness and saturation. I usually bring my saturation down to about four. This actually increases it when you go less, which is weird, right? You would figure like, hey, I want more saturation. I want to move it this way. No, you actually have to move it to the left. So a less number is more saturation. Okay, here we go. This is going to take a minute, so I'll be back. Okay, it looks like we are just about done. We're at 96%. This is like, up oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and we're going to just uh, zoom in here. We're going to take a look at this. We're going to see what, what happened here. Okay, so... This is after this LRGB combination, and this is before. You could really see quite a difference here. It is quite amazing. Just adding your ha back in over the image to create luminance makes such a drastic difference in what your image looks like. Just look at this again. You ready? Ooh. Ooh. Let's look at the whole image. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It makes a major difference. So that's why I kind of dedicated it as a step on its own in this process. You do what you want to do. That's not something you could probably do with a show image, unless you shot luminance, of course. But maybe you could do it with a show image. I don't know. Yeah, you could probably do it with a show image. But that's besides the point. I don't use show. But I, I think this is such a cool thing that I just wanted to point it out. We'll talk soon. Bye.